Uh, hi everyone, I'm Stephen Wynn with Key Performance Ideas, and today I'll be demonstrating how to clear data in an ASL cube. So there's a clear cube functionality in, in PBCS where you could create jobs and clear out the data in the ASL cube. And this cube allows you to do a partial clear or all clears, and typically in the ASL use cases, we typically wanted to clear out just the partial data in the ASL cube. But before, it's always challenging. But now with this clearing cube functionality, you could actually clear partial data <clears throat> in the ASL cube. Um, so this is really useful when you want to clear out a month worth of data in your ASL cube. And this feature allow you to do scheduling. Also <clears throat> really helpful when you, you, you could also use it in your EPM automate scripts. So first thing I'll be showing you is um, first you would just log into your PBCS application. Um, once you're in, click on application overview. And then on your right hand corner there should be action, click on that, and then there should be a drop down where you select click on clear queue. So as you can see here I created a couple of clear cubes already in my job. So if you want to create one, just click on create. And then um, enter the name of the job. And then just select your ASO cube, which I'll be selecting um, sample ASO. And then just select partial data. So here you would just define, select whichever intersection you want it uh, to select, and then just click, click on member selector and then select whatever intersection you want it, it to select, and then it will automatically generate those scripts for you. So if you want to, for example, do just want, clear one month of data in the ASO queue, just click on January, And then for the year, we could do, for example, FY16, and then click OK. And then that should auto-generate your scripts for you. And then once you have that, you could just click on Save and Close. And here, once if you click on Refresh, it will show you the refresh, the job that you just created, which is Test. So this application, um, it's really useful. Um, you could also, as I mentioned earlier, you could schedule your jobs um, to clear the queues, especially when you want to automate the process. And it could be incorporated in the EPM automate script. So it, when, if you have a scheduled process already in your, um, using EPM automate, you could definitely create, uh, create a script that clears the data <clears throat> before you before you reload your data every day or depending on if it's a monthly or daily process. So on the other hand, you could definitely certainly launch your scripts um, manually. So in order to do that, um, just click on close and then um, go to your, the job icon and then click on schedule, pro schedule jobs. And then to schedule jobs, you could certainly do a manual or a, you could certainly schedule it through here, the job scheduler, or you could run, run it manually right now. So for right now, we could just run it now and then just select clear cube. And then we could select the cube that we just created and click next. And then once you're done, you could just click finish and this, will automatically um, launch your, um, the manual process of running this clear cube. So as an overview, just that you could certainly, I think this is really useful when you want to schedule and automate your process, especially an EPM automate script um, daily where you have a monthly load process and certainly um, you could also incorporate those substitution variables in your in your in your low rule. So if you so let me go back. I, I could show you one that I just created for um, 
I use the substitution variable where you could do a forecast where I have a forecast month as my subbar and then my forecast year as my subbar. So those two, it was these are both my subbar where it defines my current forecast month and my current forecast year. And those you could actually incorporate that into your uh, clearing queue. So that way you don't have to go in there manually every time to update those. Instead, you could just update your subbar and everything will run perfectly. And <clears throat> that way you don't have to worry about updating every month. And and it's definitely this way you could, it's a lot more efficient when schedule, scheduling your clearing job um, data in your EPM automate script. So this pretty much wraps up my demonstration for clearing data in an ASO queue. And thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration, and thanks.